Hello, YouTubers and pirates alike. Uh, this is Mad Dog here, and I was just going through my. Uh, since I'm going through the bounty hunt season, I've been just figuring out what kind of uh, goodies I'm planning on getting out of this, which is uh, let's see, the Radon Slinger, which I will definitely bring that up. Okay, the the Bertrand, the Bert, this Bertrand version of the traditional thrower is, is it seems to be pretty good. I've seen some YouTube videos on it and it's doing good. But the only thing about this, it only goes on to your Conqueror or Defender class hulls. It will not go on any other type of hull that you have, say the skirmish or the uh, assault or anything like that. It only goes on to those certain hulls. So, and since it's a thrower, you know, it's it's going to be nice. But what I'm, what I do is is I do more um, research on these as much as possible. You know, I the attack. Okay, it's going to do whatever it needs to do. But in, to get something like this you want to get the radon breeder now with this again it's a it's a special for that gun okay but it's also a multi shot you can't put nothing else with this weapon or on that hull that as long as you have this or the or something else to go along with it to help out with the range um, Again, this is something that I would definitely go for as far as the weapons wise. Now, to get back into, what is it? Uh, another thing is, get the rage. But, you know, if you get, if you don't get the rage, that's okay. You can automatically, you know, put this, <clears throat> you can get this hull and it helps with anything that you this ship gets hit by there's like a death blossom and basically what that does is is it just you know it's that black shroud that goes over you know your um ship over your hull and it protects it from being targeted as it's um it could be you know getting ready to heal itself right there which when you do that you want to take it out let it heal itself and then bring it back in and start killing some more okay this is something i'm thinking about getting but you know we'll see what happens and everything um i you know you can also you know since you're getting the radon slinger I just got done killing off my Centurions because, you know, they're not, how would you say, everything is going out of date on the game. And a lot of players are leaving the game because, you know, Kicksai is making it really, really hard to um, get prepped for another raid cycle. Okay, now this, need I remind you, this is the last raid cycle for this year before they start doing something else. But, you know, that's, that's beside the point. What you want to do is, you know, I, you know, for a Conqueror Hull, you want to, you want to pick wisely. You don't want to pick, um, Oh, how would you say? Oh. You pick your conqueror hall. You pick. You pick your conqueror, whatever your conqueror is going to be, you know. And there's only I've only got maybe a few, I think. Yeah, <clears throat> I've only got a few conqueror halls. So if I don't get the rage, I have the spite, which is a tier five. 
and the Fury, which is I believe is another tier five. But it's nice to have a tier six hull, and you know that's what the uh, Pride is. It's a tier six, along with I believe the Malice. No, Malice is five. So, and then you have your um, your Retribution, which is also a tier five. Blah blah blah. Um, we got the Porthos. You've got uh, Zoe's Vendetta, but let's see what this Porthos is. I think it's like a Vendetta ship, but yeah, yeah, that's all it is. It's just a, a Vendetta. You know, and he put, he can do a lot. I think that's what the Porthos was. But let me see. Bring that up again. So if you guys were planning on building, you know, um, Hell Wraiths or something like that, I would strongly go ahead and cancel your... You know, when, you, when you're done with your hell rates, yeah, just don't even bother building another one. Um, start building, you know, pull in your Tide Seekers if you have them. If you don't, whatever, no problem. Um, again, go into your Conqueror Hulls. But yeah, I would get the Rage if that's... Because a lot of... Okay, that's Zoe's Mendetta. I think that's Porthos. No, that's Athos. Where's my fucking Porthos at? Okay. Artemis. Porthos. Okay. That's the Strike Cruiser. Um, hell, you. I don't recommend you put anything that heavy on one of these because I don't think it's going to work. So, um, like I said, with me, I'm planning on getting the ray. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, probably build it. Uh, since, But I'm also, after the first year, I'm not going to be getting into any more monthly raids because it's too much of a hassle to build for those raids. Okay. <clears throat> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on uh, <clears throat> on the builds that I have and everything else. I'm not hell. I'm not even going to do the uh, um, the bounty, you know, as much as I'd like to. Uh, I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to do my thing. Get the rage. I'm not going to get Rena's rage. I'm going to just get now. Rena's rage is a flagship, so. Um, that's the reason why it costs so much. <clears throat> um, it, it is a flagship. Um, it has additional ability to transfer its own health to all other friendly raid ships in the fleet. So that that would be great if I had the 5,000 points added on to the weapons that I need to get. But... Um, that's not going to happen. So, um, we still have 20 something hours left of this bounty season. So, um, when I get granted, you know, the uh, extra 800, like I said, I, after this, I probably won't do the bounty anymore because uh, or even the monthly raids because it's just getting too ridiculous to do so um, yeah if if you guys um, do continue on doing it just get whatever you can and also do as many of these uh, campaigns that they do. I mean, yeah, I'll be doing some of those, but 
<clears throat> if it's for a monthly rate, I'm not going to even bother because it's not even worth it. Uh, the Scourge Blockade, I've, I've tried it. It's not the best as far as um, if you've got, it gives you 310,000 uranium. Yeah, that's great. You know, you need it. But it, it's asking for skirmish. So, um, later on, you know, down the road, I'll probably do, uh, do something else. I don't know yet. Uh, I do like this game. I do plan on staying with this game. It's I've been with it since it first started. And, yes, it took me a little while. I've seen all my friends, you know, they just... Um, they just gave up, you know. They just literally gave up on the game. So, me, I'm not going to give up. I'll, I'll get on it. I'll do my builds, and I'll check my builds and stuff like that. No problem. I'll get on to the daily campaigns. I'll do a few of the other campaigns I still have that's, you know, as you can see, that hasn't been finished yet. But I will do it. So... But this is Mad Dog. I'm signing off for right now. So, but uh, if you like my videos, you want to see more, just please rate, share, and subscribe. And if there's a certain um, build you want to know about, please, please just, you know, leave a comment down below and just tell me how I'm doing. So, okay. But again, this is Mad Dog. I'm signing off. You have a great day, and we'll talk to you sometime next week. Bye-bye.